room but finally some live content Ooh, okay so anyway i am gonna get right into it y'all saw the title of the video we're doing a reset i go back to work in two days no in one day today's monday i go back to work on wednesday so whatever um and i wanted to kind of do like a reset with my hair because i've been neglecting it since i've been pregnant to be honest um i've been oiling it and like here and there but since i've had my baby I've kind of been neglecting my hair. So let's go ahead and do a restart, reset, rejuvenation on these locks. I'm gonna show you guys how they look. Um, I haven't had a retwist in about two months. Um, and so this is how we're looking like. We look like a jungle, um, but we love thick locks. We love thick locks. Um, what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, so we're gonna of course wash my hair. I was gonna do an ACV rinse, but again, dealing with a newborn. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit back unless I catch him on a nap, but I'm not gonna wait that long. I wanna do it now. It's about 7.40 in the morning. So yeah, he's napping now and I'm like, let's go ahead and at least wash my hair and condition it now. So yeah, I'm gonna wash it, condition it, and then we're gonna do a hot oil treatment because my hair desperately needs some moisture in it. I feel like it's very, very dry um, to the touch. And yeah, I just want it to look nice. And I wanted to do some type of curls like I don't know if y'all remember, I did my pipe cleaner curls when my hair was shorter. I wanted to do them when they were longer, but I did not buy pipe cleaners. So we're not gonna do that. We're actually just gonna do a regular, regular two strand twist. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so yeah, wash, condition, deep oil, hot oil treatment, retwist and style. Retwist and style at the same time, but that's the checklist. So let's go ahead and Get into it, especially before the baby wakes up. So, yeah, let me show y'all the hair. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. But that's something I don't regret. Every night I close my eyes and see. Only have into dreams, baby. What can I do? When a million things are running through Million things I can't undo I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk That's all I got What can I say with a million things I can't erase Million people I can't save I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk Don't wanna wake up Okay, so we're gonna go in with the OG I just wanted to come on before I start washing my hair I'm downstairs now in the kitchen I'm gonna wash my hair in the sink. Um, I'm using these little wristbands so that when I um, pop up to wash my hair, like to scrub in the shampoo, it doesn't start dripping all down my hand. So pretty handy. But anyway, we're going in with the OG stuff. Um, so the Design Essentials shampoos, I have almond and avocado, and this is the moisturizing and detangling shampoo. And then I also have the Herbal Essence Tea Tree Shampoo. Um, I used to use, oops, I used to use the Design Essentials I forgot what it was shampoo but it's the clarifying shampoo that works just as fine I've just been using this now um, but they kind of remind me of the same thing so yep and then for the conditioner I have the design essentials rosemary and mint conditioner that I'm gonna let um, leave in well I'm gonna leave it in my hair for about 30 minutes I'm gonna try to at least 30 minutes and I also have ugh, my conditioning cap so um, this is one where I would put it in the microwave I think it comes with some, yeah, it comes with some um, shower caps as well so that you don't get the actual cap messed up. But it is a conditioning cap. So I would pop this in the microwave. This is full of rice or whatever is in there. Um, and then it's lined with microfiber. So I think you can wash this, I think. I don't know though. Um, and then once it gets out the microwave, I'm just gonna pop it on my head, have it warm and kind of help that conditioner like all settle into my hair. So yeah, let's go ahead and wash my hair. Again, I'm racing against a baby, so let's hurry up. <laughs>
All right, so this is how we are looking after the wash. Sorry about the angle. I have y'all like propped up on the sink, but look at the look at the line with no retwist, nothing like that. This is what we're working with. So I'm about to go ahead and put the conditioner in, um, so y'all can watch me go ahead and do that. And while I'm putting the conditioner in, I have the shower, not the shower cap, the heating cap um, for my conditioner. I have that in the microwave. So let's go ahead. Actually, this towel is getting in my way. I prefer to keep a towel on, but I'm about to take it off. And there it is. You're supposed to warm it up in 30 minute intervals. So yeah, so let me start putting this in. All right, sorry y'all, my husband came in from the gym and was just chatting up a storm. But anyway, I'm gonna, um, this is hot now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I tried to put this on the best I could. <laughs> I probably should use a plastic bag because I feel like my hair is a little bit too thick for the, you know, the regular shower caps. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Hopefully this can even fit. Whew. I feel like if my hair gets any longer, I probably won't even be able to wear this thing because this is barely covering my hair but you know we move. if anything if my hair does get longer you can always just sit under the blow dryer but I wanted to be able to be mobile which is the good thing about this I can still like walk around just in case the baby wakes up which he has not yes um in case the baby wakes up I can always like tend to him while I'm conditioning my hair for like 30 minutes so but now that my husband's home he got it so yeah we are done with that portion I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. One thing I did figure is shout out to the girls who do their hair in the sink. I cannot. I'm so glad I wore like a t-shirt. I don't really care about because not that I don't care about, but like you know, like a, a um, just a throwaway t-shirt because I got conditioner and stuff all over me. But um, what was I gonna say? Yes, shout out to the girlies who do their hair in the sink, who wash your hair in the sink. Sink. I don't really wash my hair in the shower if you've been watching me for a while so this was different if anything i would probably so probably to wash this out i'm gonna do it in our um like the guest bathroom shower because we have a what's the thing called a sprayer that i could use to rinse like really get the conditioner out especially with conditioner actually let me i'm sorry i'm like all over the place hold on one, one minute I'm gonna set an alarm for 30 minutes or I could just remember by nine o'clock. It's 8.24 by the way. I think I started this whole process at 7.44, but why did it take me that long? Oh, cause I was getting stuff together. You know when you film and it takes like extra long cause I gotta place the camera and make sure I'm in frame, like all that. But I'm just gonna remind myself at nine to go ahead and wash this out, which is the same time I'm supposed to wake up the baby. So yeah, so but yeah anyway um yeah shout out to them who can wash your hair in the sink because that hurts like the bending over absolutely hurts but i feel like i'm gonna get more pressure in the guest bathroom so i think i'm gonna wash that out in here especially since this conditioner is obviously thicker than just like a shampoo i really want to get it out of my hair same thing with the oil i'm probably gonna go ahead and 
um, just wash my hair in the bathtub. See you guys back at nine o'clock when I come to rinse this out. And then after that, we'll do the hot oil treatment. So I'm gonna go get something to eat because I'm hungry <laughs> and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so we are back. Hair is all washed, rinsed out the conditioner. I'm gonna take this towel off and I'm actually gonna put this around my neck because I'm about to deal with oil. So I don't wanna get too messy. What is that? What the heck is that? Oh, now my hair's still dirty. I'm finding lint. I've really been having an issue with lint and that's my fault because I haven't been Again, like I've been saying, taking care of my hair or like brushing it as I should. But so I'm like finding lint. So it's clean, but I'm finding lint in my hair. All right, I'm done. Um, so I have my oil here. And so I'm going to rewind. <laughs> so we're about to do the hot oil treatment. I have my blow dryer like set up, all set up in my office. So I have my oil here. I was going to heat the oil, but I'm actually not going to heat it because I'm going to use the blow dryer. So yeah, that'll heat it. And this is the oil I'm using. I feel like this is the melanin oil by, I think the brand is melanin but y'all know if, again if you watch me you know i'd be using this oil all the time so i'm gonna use this oil just because it has like the nice little nozzle where i can actually get into my scalp and i have a plastic bag shout out to target <laughs> um but yeah i have a plastic bag because like i said those shower caps unless i don't know maybe i have to search for like an extra large shower cap or something like that or just use plastic bags i really don't carry the way but yeah this is the oil i'm gonna use i feel like i've mixed this oil with some other stuff so yeah I'm not sure what all I have in here I'm pretty sure I'll probably put like jojoba I might have tea tree in, tea tree in here I might even have almond oil in here and of course like the melanin oil itself which came I think it's like a blend of baobab oil argan oil and vitamin E is what's originally in here so this is what we're going to use and I'm just going to distribute that all over my scalp all over the ends of my hair put on my shower, shower cap, put on my makeshift shower cap, so a plastic bag, and then we're gonna sit under the dryer probably for at least like 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put the oil in my hair now. Alright y'all, so I am done putting the oil in my hair. I just pretty much made through, made through, made sure the oil was saturated throughout my hair. 
so I've just been like squeezing it I feel like I can still stand to put like some more oil because I want it to be like drenched but let's just do one more little squeeze and I'm gonna just distribute this on the ends of my hair because I just want to make sure that literally from root to tip it's pretty well like I want my hair to be super oily again like I'm gonna rinse it out which I don't know if I said that actually so not again but I'm gonna rinse the oil out after I do after I sit in it for like sit in the blow dryer for 10 minutes so all this oil is not really gonna stay in my hair but I just kind of want to infuse it and that way when I rinse it out my hair should still be pretty moisturized I like the last time I did this I think I've only done this one other time maybe twice but I really liked how my hair felt so what are my eyebrows I need to get my eyebrows done too but yeah just want to make sure it's like on the end so when I squeeze it I want to basically be squeezing oil which is what I'm doing I'm struggling before with the conditioner I think I'm just gonna put everything to like the top of my head kind of because I know it's gonna fall but just so I can get it in the bag I'm gonna just do like a little ponytail and then put the bag over my head and then I'm gonna bend down real quick so Kind of like that. Oh, that still see me. Kind of okay. I'm gonna put it like that. My dryer has a pretty tight, like, cap for it. So I think doing this would be just enough. And then I'm gonna expose my ears. I hate having stuff over my ears. So expose the ears. Perfect. Okay. So then by the time I put like the little bonnet blow dryer thing on it, um, I should be good. So let's get under the dryer i'm gonna stand there for 10 minutes right now it is 10 to 24. oh update the baby did wake up he's with my husband now he ate and yeah so baby woke up but like i said my husband's back from the gym now so i don't really gotta worry about it i can just do my hair in peace and yeah so let's get going with the dryer okay so this is my um little setup right here so this is the blow dryer that i have i have it linked down below but it's a bonnet air dryer air dryer a bonnet blow dryer here's the box actually here is the box um it's by andes and yeah it's just called a bonnet dryer and i got this from ross i think or tj maxx ross i got it from ross and it was 30 bucks so that's how it looks i am going to go ahead and get under this for um 10 minutes like i said it's really nice because it compacts into this thing like everything packs up into here on and off button and then i think you can do high medium yeah high and low actually um so yeah let's go ahead and sit under here for 10 minutes all right so i hope the shower isn't too um loud that you can't hear me but this is how my hair looks after i get out of the dryer the oil is still warm from the dryer so and oily obviously so i'm about to rinse it out and then i will come right back all right so my hair is washed from the oil let's go ahead and take my towel off so this is how the hair is looking after a wash it feels really good it feels very lightweight too doesn't feel heavy at all and it feels moisturized like when i still squeeze my hair i'm still getting like oil like a nice sheen on my hair so it's not super oily but it's definitely like moisturized so that's exactly what i wanted they feel just so good oh like literally much better than um what i've been have it on my head because like i said i've been very neglectful with my hair i've been neglecting my hair a lot but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and retwist my hair am i getting oil on this oh whatever i'm gonna go ahead and retwist my hair and do two strand twists on it you guys have seen me do this a million times plus my battery is low on my phone it's like 10 percent, so i can't really film it if i wanted to but i'm gonna link a video that i have where i wash and no where i retwist and two strand twist my hair so i'll link it Above. so you can go and check that out if you've never seen me do that before but i will be back with the finished results okay guys so i'm back and i'm done this is almost it's 2 42 so however much time it was in between me leaving to start the retwist had some breaks i had some food the baby woke up a couple times fed him all that other stuff but we got it done either way in the afternoon so here is the final result again you guys have seen me do a two strand twist on my hair not the baby monitor. Oh no. Um, 
I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Let me go ahead and finish this outro um, so that I can get him. But anyway, this is the finished product. You guys have seen me do a two strand twist on my hair before. So here's just the close up. I got some length on my hair now, just a little bit. So I might leave this in for about a week. Um, and then I might take it down. But yeah, this is the finished result. I did end up leaving a couple pieces that I couldn't like two strand twist because they were like single ones on their own and it's the two on the ends of my hair so like these two I just have them clipped back behind my ear so they're just gonna be just straight which is fine with me um but yeah other than that this is the final result hey guys that's all I had for today so thanks for coming along with me for you know getting myself together before I go back to work all right so he wasn't gonna let me finish but anyway thanks so much for clicking to watch another video Bye from me and baby bio. Um, if you have any questions, obviously just comment down below and I will answer them as I can and as I see them. Yeah. You want to help me do the outro? Crickets. You're right. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thanks so much for clicking to watch another video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.